And welcome back. This is Bobby Scoop with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I am joined as always by my team of Fallout Luke, Finney, and Nelvin. When we last left off, we were in Crescent Lake. And now we need to go pretty much straight south. And I will show you why. Do you see that desert there? That is where we're headed. It might take a couple battles before we actually get there. Nothing in the river, which is nice. And apparently at level 21, Luke learns the art of the six-hit combo, which is awesome. Okay, so we're here in the desert. I don't really know what it's called right now. It's not really important what the name of the desert is, just as long as you get here. Uh, you want to use the Levistone, a mysterious rock that floats in the air. You want to use it right here. Why? Oh, we're in the Lycaon Desert, by the way. That's how I'm pronouncing it. I don't care. And we just kind of drop it in the middle of nowhere. Sweet! It's lost forever. Wait, what the hell? And then the sand opened up. And out rose! Aw, yeah. It's about damn time. We got an airship! Yes! Oh. Anybody that's played any Final Fantasy knows, once you get the airship, that's when the game opens up. Yes, it does. And it all started with this one. This is the first airship, and I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's an awesome airship. It's small as hell. Look, look at that. I'm as tall as our airship. Whatever, let's board this baby, and yeah, let's just fly around, yeah, look, look, see that little journey? Oh, oh, it's over, it's over already. Okay, so we're going to head to our next destination now. Oh, looks like I already passed it, here it is. This is Mount Golgu. Um, if you don't get the airship, because I am kind of doing things out of order, but not really, uh, you'll have to go through all this crap on the river. Uh, before you can finally make it here. Or you can just take the airship and you can land right next to the freaking volcano. And ta-da, you're there. Oh, Mount Golg. Sorry. I don't want to call it Golgu. Maybe that's just... Maybe that's just my little, you know, five-year-old brain kicking in again. It does that from time to time. And what kind of enemies do we have here? We have horned devils. That is not good. And I just realized that he still has the flame. Wow, it still did a massive amount of damage, the flame sword. I did not expect that. Uh, but I'm going to take all the, you know, the flame sword and all the ice mail off of Fallout and give him back some normal stuff. I'll be right back. Yeah, you can really do the ice cavern and this volcano at the same time. Uh, it's really up to you which one you want to do first. I like to do it this way, but you don't have to. We've seen these enemies before. I do believe that this dungeon might actually be easier, but I've always thought the ice cavern was. I'm, I must be confused. Yeah, I mean, just one centipede, really? I mean, yeah, that does a lot of damage, but I've fought four of these before, you know? So let's go down the stairs, if the game will let me. Here we... I don't believe we've shown Sphinx before. I think that what we saw was something else. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to keep this in just to be on the safe side. I don't want to miss any enemies. Uh, they, they go down pretty easy, you know. And they do quite a bit of damage, and they give a ton of gills, so I doubt we fought them before. I think we fought something that was similar, but not quite. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything here? Nice! Lots of treasure up this way. Yeah, two centipedes. So I want to know what's in the treasure chest. So except there's probably a fight before each and every one. And oh, great, we've got an upgraded Noma. This is a Pyros. And I assume he's weak to ice. Not really. Is he weak to punch? He is weak to punch. Punch is the most powerful elemental spell there is, apparently. And I find a Mithril Helm. I do believe that's an upgrade for Fallout. Oh, n uh, didn't want to do that. Okay. 
Uh, can you wear it? No, no. So no upgrade there, unfortunately. I did see another treasure chest up there. Let's see if I can get it. Because chests in the corners are always better than chests in the middle of the... So what do we have in this treasure chest? Here we have a scripted battle, apparently. No, it's just a random battle that was weirdly placed once again. So what do we have in treasure chest here? We have four hundred... Uh, we saw more in the other one, so this must be a weaker dungeon. Ah, super. Okay, that battle was a lot harder than I had expected. Okay, apparently there are upgraded cockatrices, and cockatrices are supposed to be the most feared enemy in the game. I've been very lucky, I only got stoned once, and Finny can cure stone, so I was able to fix that. I don't know what pyrolisks do, I don't know if they stone as well, I don't believe they do, I believe that is just the cockatrices and the pyro and any upgrade don't do the same. Uh, but they go down pretty easy no matter if they stone or not. And oh my gosh, so many random battles along the way. But hopefully this treasure chest is a little bit more... Come on, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies, stop! Fuck. <laughs> okay, uh... No, it doesn't feel worth it. Uh, let's try a bolt. Because ice did crap all to them. Bolt did a little better. Which is kind of weird considering it's a lower level spell, but still. Yeah, six hit combo for the win! 79 damage is not for the win. Oh my god. Kill him, please. Thank you. We did get a lot of experience in guild for that, but I've gotten better for easier enemies. And we find a claymore in there. Oh, I bet that... No? No? Nope. Mithril Axe. Mithril freaking Axe is still better than the claymore. Yes, the things that you get in town in this game are better than what you find in the dungeon. It's completely ass backwards. Alright, there were a couple more treasure chests I wanted here, but good lord, is it going to take a while to get them? Yeah, we've seen this. Okay, let's see what we can get down here. I believe there's more further to the south. Yes, there's one down there. Is Let's see if we can get it without too much trouble. I bet there's a scripted fight, though. There is, let me guess, pyros. Yes, there are pyros. Of course there's freaking pyros. There's nothing else but pyros. We're gonna do quake th er, sorry, not quake. Uh, we're gonna do bolt three, see if that helps any. Yeah, you guys are doing massive amounts of damage. It's awesome. But what does bolt three do against this guy? Does it help at all? No. That was a waste of bolt three. Should have known better. This guy is strong against magic, and then he has magic. It's not fair just to have a magic user. Whatever, this is Final Fantasy. You have to mix it up. Are you kidding me? I go one step? Really? And it's an enemy strikes first. Okay, let's try going out this way and then back up around this way. This seems to be the easiest way now. Man, do I want those treasure chests, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I saw there was one up there. There's two up here. So I want to get those, if the game will let me. And there's no guarantee that it will. Okay, 795 gil. And a scripted battle. These are more pyroses. Okay, so I'm done with magic for these guys because I don't do as much damage as I would like with them. And Luke is turning into my best character. No offense everybody else, but did you see that damage? Good lord. Uh, yeah, he's my best random encounter fighter. I'm sorry, Fallout. He's, he's, he can't take a punch, but man can he deal six of them at a time. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any way to go any further west, so it's pretty much out of this little section for now. So we want to keep heading. Oh no, I made it! Oh my god! I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna do it! Oh my god! I'm gonna do it! I want the treasure! I want it! I found a mithril helm, mithril gloves, potion, blah, blah, blah. tent. Blah, blah. Oh, I bet this one's scripted. 
Oh, you bet it is. This is a lava worm. I, I don't know what to make of it other than kill it with ice. Unless, uh, I was about to say, unless Luke can do it all by itself. That'd be awesome if he could, but he couldn't. So Melvin comes in, and let's see if he can handle it. Oh, I bet he does. He does. Down goes the lava worm. We get not nearly enough experience and gold that we deserve. And an antidote, and some more gill. And we're a little more than halfway done. More gill, mithril shield, mithril axe, and a potion. Okay, so not the best treasure, but man, was there a ton of it. So let's head back on out. I do believe this was a scripted fight. Yeah, it was. Uh, I didn't show it before um, because I didn't think it was a scripted fight, but seeing that I landed on the same spot and got into the same fight, it is a scripted fight. Let's see. You know, it's Pyroses again. I'm getting kind of sick of the Pyroses, as I'm sure you are. Yeah, Luke can take one out all by himself. It does take everybody else about two turns to go through them. Uh, but, yeah, you know, Pyroses are getting pretty easy now. And so the game gives me a new enemy because I said that was getting pretty easy. Uh, this is a Fire Hydra. And it, it does a decent amount of damage. Does it go down easy? Yeah, it goes down pretty easy. Um, we don't get that much experience or gold for it. Or, sorry, Gil. I don't know why I've been saying gold so much lately. But man, is the encounter rate in here high. Hopefully we can make it out with t without too much of a problem, but not if I keep getting in fights. Fine, I'll say it. The encounter rate right now is worse than the Seventh Saga. What the hell? I mean, like, seriously. Can I, can I leave, please? There's the door. Can I walk out it? About it? Uh, walk out it? Yes, thank you. Okay. So then you have to go this way, and then... We'll have to make up our mind next time. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been another part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. When we continue, will I go north? Will I go south? You'll have to wait to find out next time. Yes, you will. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.